वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो वेन इन बी बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इन्फोसिस मैथमेटिकल एबिलिटी क्वेश्चन विथ सोल्यूशन सो मैथमेटिकल एबिलिटी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एप्टीट्यूड बट या दिस इज वॉट द नेम गोज बाई इन इन्फोसिस इन दे कॉल इट मैथमेटिकल एबिलिटी एंड इन दिस सेक्शन विल बी सींग ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट वेर यू नो प्रीवियसली आज एंड ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट यू शुड बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर और लुकिंग फॉर और यू नो द मोस्ट ask type of sections or the most ask type of topics that you generally get in infosys mathematical ability so one by one we'll see a lot of questions in this video right before we start with that guys best three commenters on this video to get free access to newly launched prep insta prime so make sure you keep commenting to get uh, you know a chance to win the free access to prep insta prime apart from that a lot of companies would be hiring very soon and would be posting all such updates on the below handles that is Instagram, Discord, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram. So make sure you are a part of all the social media handles so that you never miss out on any important opportunity related to placements. Right? The link to all can be found in the description of the video. And also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on to the bell icon as well. Let us not waste any more time here and start with our first question. The first rule: have a pen and paper with you. second thing read the questions and try solving them on your own you can pause the videos and then start solving them on your own cause that is how you 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 would be the most profitable out of this videos a and b together have rupees 1 to 10 if 4 by 15 of a's amount is equal to 2 by 5 of b's amount how much amount does b have a very easy question to warm you up guys so can you just pause the video and start solving this on your own all right A plus B together have one two one zero. Four by fifteen of A's amount is equal to two by five of B's amount. Let us find what is A by B. A by B would be two by five into fifteen by four, three times two times. So three is two. How much amount does B have? So B is what is B's share out of it, guys? Two upon total three plus two into one two one zero. Two up by five into one two one zero. Two times four times two times. So that is four eighty four rupees is the answer, uh, which is option number C. option number c is the correct answer this was a very easy question guys right okay so slowly and slowly in this video we will try to you know increase the difficulty of the questions and we will also be you know seeing a lot of different topics in this particular video so make sure you are watching this video till the end talking about the second question which says rohit runs 25% faster than rajat and is able to give rajat a start of 10 meters to end a race together what is the length of the race so this is one of the most favorite type of questions from speed time and distance that infosys generally ask uh, a start of 10 meters means guys a head start i i i hope you know that right so that basically means that uh if rohit is let's say standing at the start point rajat would already be 10 meters ahead of him the, the start line would be uh, 10 meters ahead for rajat cause he's slow his speed is low that is what you call it when uh, someone gives a start to someone else in a race can you pause the video now and start solving this on your own all right rohit is 25% faster so if i i'll write r o for rohit r a for rajat so if i say if rajat speed is let's say 100 some meter per second or whatever you consider it rohit speed would be 125 yes so that means uh, divide by 25 so 4 and 5 so i can say that the speed of Raj rohit is to rajat is 5 is to 4 so that means if Rohit runs five meter. Rajat will run only four meter. Hope you understand till here. All right. So that means 
for every 5 meter that rohit is running rajat is getting delayed by 1 meter hope you get it till here as well right so that means guys for every 5 meter rohit will give a head start of 1 meter for every 5 meter because if they have to, it says, right, to end a race together. So that means, let's say that the, the race track is for 5 meters only. In that case, Rohit will give a head start of 1 meter. So what head start basically means, this is the, let's say, start line, finish line. If Rohit is standing here, Rajat is slower, right? So he'll ask Rajat to stand here already. That is what it, it is uh, when you call giving someone a start or a head start, right? So, Rohit has to give 1 meter of head start to Rajat for every 5 meter. If Rajat has, if Rohit has given 10 meters of head start to finish the race together, how much would be the total length that they are running actually? 1, 10 times, so 5, 10 times is 50 meters. That would be the length of the track. Hope you understood that, right? See, it's basically, guys, Rohit is faster, right? So, if he runs 5 meter, Rajat only runs 4 meter. So, that means for a 5 meter race, Rohit will give a head start of 1 meter to Rajat. If Rohit is giving 10 meter of head start to Rajat to end a race together, so that means the total race length would be 10 times, so 50 meters, right? All right. Moving on to the next question, which says Vikas was assigned a task to complete uh, create a collection of five letter passwords. Its password must be the combination of two alphabets and three digits. Digits and alphabet need to be distinct, so cannot be repeated to be clear. Find the total number of passwords generated by Vikas. Can you guys pause the video here and start doing this on your own? Okay. Vikas was assigned a task to create a collection of five letter passwords. Right. Each password must be combination of two alphabets. So how many alphabets are there guys from A to Z? 26. And digits. Three digits he has to choose. 0 to 9 are the digits, right? So how many digits? 10 in total. Right. For a password, guys, let's say, let's say, as of now, let's say these two positions are alphabets and these three are digits. So to fill these two positions, how many choices uh, Vikas is having? He has to choose two different out of 26. How do we write that? Selecting two out of 26, guys. 26 C. How would he select three different digits from 10 digits? Selecting three out of 10 is 10. C three. Is that the answer? Option number D would be the answer. We have selected two uh, alphabets and three digits already. No. Has anything been mentioned about the positions of the alphabets and the digits? No, they have not specified. So the alphabets can be anywhere. The digits can be anywhere. They can be jumbled or anything, right? It's just that there should be two alphabets and three digits. Could be like 0, 1, A, B, C. Could be A, B, C, 0, 1. Or could be, let's say, 0, A, B, 1, C. Or anything, right? So by this, guys, what do you understand? We have already selected our five characters. Let's call them character in total. In how many ways can you arrange five different letters or digits or whatever they are five factorial ways sif uh, we're just talking about the arrangement so how do you arrange five different things five factorial so the answer is option number a right 
see guys uh the questions in infosys are uh, to be very honest would be medium easy to medium a little bit tougher some questions would be a little bit tough the main point in infosys would be the time that you are taking solving each and every question because the time assigned every question is a little lesser and you have to be fast right for that guys what we actually have on prepinsta.com is analytics analytics which help you understand how fast you are let's say there is a one particular problem on any any topic of your choice there is a particular problem and everyone who's preparing for infosys is preparing from uh, uh, let's say whoever is preparing from prepinsta.com uh, he would be solving that particular question now our analytics show you let's say you solved a problem it would show you what percent of student who solved this particular question took time greater than you what percent of students were faster than you and how what percent were slower than you so where do you actually lie let's say you took 30 seconds 70% of the students took 20 seconds only so that means you are a little slow and you need some more tricks and tips to solve this particular question based upon that we also create a graph for you so that could be question a quiz level a question level that could be a section level and an entire infosys level so even before giving your exam once you start practicing on prepinsta.com you would already get an idea on to where do you stand how how good is your practice so guys to understand uh, analytics even better uh, there's a quick video coming up my team would just play a quick uh, video for 5 10 seconds for you which would give you an idea on to how analytics looks like real time on prepinsta.com so is a video coming up guys all right guys so i hope you uh, just saw the video so let us not uh, waste any more time here and start with our questions and we'll have our discussions in with it, between the video right short discussions which are really important okay here's the next question which says a man mixes a uh, 10 liters of alcohol okay a man mixes 10 liters of alcohol with 40 liters of water after selling 1/4 of this mixture he adds alcohol to replenish the quantity that he has sold what is the current proportion of alcohol to water pause the video guys and start solving this on your own okay a man mixes 10 liters of alcohol with 40 liters of water right this is what this is the initial right how how many liters in total guys 50 liters after selling 1/4 of this mixture he is selling 1/4 of this mixture so how much is he selling actually he is selling 12.5 liters in total if he is uh, selling 1/4 of it how much alcohol is he actually selling how much would be left after he sold 1/4 of it 10 liters so what is 1/4 uh, of 10 2.5 so he will be left with 7.5 liters 
water. It is 40 liters. He has sold one fourth. So what is one fourth of 40? 10. So he has sold 10. So he will be left with 30. So this is after he has sold it. He is left with this much. Now, he adds, after selling the one fourth of the mixture, so we, we are till here now, he adds alcohol to replenish the quantity that he has sold. After this, he is adding alcohol. To replenish the quantity that he has sold. So basically, he will put this 12.5 liters of alcohol here. Because he has sold 12.5 liters. So to replenish, if he is adding only alcohol, he will be adding 12.5 liters of alcohol. So how much alcohol is there now? 7.5 plus 12.5, that is 20 liters. And how much water would be there? It is already 30. Nothing was added. So 20 is to 30. What is that, guys? 2 is to 3. Okay. They are asking us about alcohol to water ratio. This is alcohol to water only. So 2 is to 3 would be correct. If let's say they would have asked us water to alcohol ratio, in that case, your answer would have been A. So make sure you are not doing such silly mistakes. You are reading the question properly before answering. Okay. Knuckle can do a piece of work in 9 days and Nordic can do the same piece of work in 10 days. In how many days will they complete 40 parts of the workout out of 90 parts if they work alternatively? Assume Nakul will work on the first day. You guys can pause the video and start solving this on your own now. Okay guys, so before we start with this question, let me just give a quick update. So uh, Infosys uh, Prime course is already a part of uh, Prep Insta Prime. So whatever you need, uh, aptitude, which is mathematical ability, reasoning, verbal, crypto, pseudocode, puzzles, interweave preparation. So everything is already a part of Prep Insta, Prep Insta Prime's Infosys syllabus. So, right, uh, so what does Prep Insta Prime actually is? So, in Prep Insta Prime, what all you get is, guys, you get all the popular skills, all the popular languages like C, C++, Java, Python, everything that you need from coding, including basic, intermediate, competitive, and data structures in all the languages. Anything from aptitude, be it DI, verbal, logical, aptitude, visual reasoning, crypto, essay writing, game based, everything is there. Any platform specific course that you're looking for, any company specific preparation that you would be doing, any product based company specific, interview preparation, right? Be it from uh, creating a resume to your HR preparation to your group discussion preparation or puzzles or GitHub, everything is already included, right? Talking about pseudo code, which is a part in Infosys, Automata Fix already there, OS, DBMS, SDLC, computer networks, SQL, everything is already a part of Prep and Stuff. So you don't have to actually purchase all these courses separately. You just have to go for one single subscription that is Prep and Prime, and everything would be accessible to you. Along with that, you get nano degree certifications from Prep and Star, multiple of them if you complete multiple skills, and then TCS Ion Remote Internship certificates as well. Right? So the link for the same is in the description of the video. Prices and everything we'll talk about it at a later point in time. Let us get back to our question quickly okay so the alternative work question uh, guys let me do one thing let me teach you the best best possible way of solving this particular question and this that is some way that uh, that is some trick that i've already taught in prep and Prime's aptitude course uh, let me give it to you here nakul can do a piece of work in nine days and Nordi can do a piece of work in 10 days. What I'll do here is guys, first thing is I'll take LCM. So LCM would be 9 and 10, the LCM would be 90. So this 90, I'll consider that the total amount of work is 90 units. This is the best possible way of solving the alternative uh, work question, right? So the total work I have considered to be 90 units, right? Okay. If Nakul takes 9 days to complete 90 units, right? What is his per day's work, guys? Nakul would be completing 10 units per day. So 9 days, he'll be completing 90 units, right? I have just assumed that, taking the LCM, I assumed that 
the total amount of work is 90 units nakul completes the entire work in 90 days 9 days so his per day work would be 10 units per day nodi takes 10 days to complete this 90 units of work so nodi's per day's work would be 9 units per day right in how many days will they complete 40 parts of the work out of 90 parts so total 90 parts 90 un 90 parts means 90 units so how much work they have to complete they have to complete 40 units of work and we have to find in how many days they can do that if they work alternatively assume nakul will will work on the first day so it is like basically guys nakul i'll write nk for nakul so first day nakul would come second day nodi would come again nakul would come again nodi would come again nakul would come and so right so first day nakul would come how much work would he complete guys because nakul can complete 10 units per day so first day he'll come he'll complete 10 units next day nodi would come right nodi completes 9 units in a day so second day he'll complete 9 units can I consider this to be one cycle because again the cycle is repeating here. In one cycle they can complete 19 units. 19 units they complete in one cycle which is basically guys uh, 2 days or I can say one cycle. We have to complete 40 units of work. Do you think of a multiplier? which is uh, closer to 40 for 19, 19 twos are 38, right? So 38 units, they'll be able to complete in four days. Cause again, Nakul would come, he'll complete 10 and he'll complete nine. So 10 plus nine, 10 plus nine is basically 38. So 38 units would be completed till day four. Now fifth day, the work is not completed, right? Only 40 units is completed till now sorry only 38 is completed till now the total work is 40 units so still two units is left now according to the cycle they are working alternatively so nakul nodi nakul nodi so nakul would come and work nakul can complete 10 units in a day but he only has to complete two units so how much of the day he will take 2 by 10 that is 0 0.2 day so what is the total number of days required 4.2 days right i hope you got that guys if you still have doubts you can definitely reach out to us in the comments section okay guys so a question from geometry which says the diameters of the internal and external surfaces of a holospherical shell are 10 centimeter and 6 centimeter respectively if it is melted and recast into a solid cylinder of length 8 by 3 centimeter find the diameter of the cylinder you guys can pause this video here and start solving this on your own now. Okay. So guys, uh, the diameters of an internal and external surfaces of a holospherical shell. What is a holospherical shell? Okay. Let me try drawing it for you. Though I'm not very good at drawing, let me still try. A sphere, first of all. So the thing is... Uh, this is how it is going to look from inside. So entire a sphere, but it is hollow from inside. So there is a cavity inside it, which is also a sphere. Right. I hope you're able to visualize or understand that. Right. So this part is actually blank. Now the diameters of the internal and external surfaces of a hollow, hollow spherical shell are 10 centimeter and six centimeter respectively. So the diameters, right? This diameter is 6 and this diameter is 10, right? So guys, what would be the volume of this particular sphere? First of all, tell me what is the volume of a sphere? Four by three pi r cube. Now to find the volume of this particular sphere, can I do one thing? Can I find the entire volume of this particular sphere and then subtract the volume of this internal hollow sphere so that I'll get the entire volume of this particular solid part, which is actually the metal part cause the inside is a void. 
सो द वॉल्यूम वुड बेसिकली बी फोर बाय थ्री पाई आर क्यूब दैट इज दी लेट्स से आर आउटर एंड द इनर रेडियस होल क्यूब विच इज नथिंग बट फोर बाय थ्री पाई आर आउटर क्यूब माइनस आर इनर होल क्यूब राइट आई होप यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट राइट आई एम फाइंडिंग द इंटायर वॉल्यूम एंड देन आम सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द इंटरनल दिस वॉल्यूम सो दैट आई गेट द वॉल्यूम फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर पार्ट सो दैट वुड बी फोर बाय थ्री पाई आर आउटर इज द डायमीटर इज टेन सो द रेडियस आउटर इज टेन बाय टू विच इज फाइव and for this it's 6 so 6 by 2 is the radius so 3 cos 10 and 6 is the diameter right so 5 cube is 125 minus 3 cube is 27 which is nothing but 4 by 3 pi into 90 let me keep it like this itself as now you'll understand why i'm doing that this entire volume this entire metal part is now melted and uh, recast into a solid cylinder of length 8 by 3 when you talk about cylinder's length it's basically the height right length or height whatever you call it right guys what is the volume of a cylinder what is the volume of a cylinder This pi r square h. Okay. Now, if this is melted to form this, this and this would be equal. So pi r square into h. What is h? H basically is the length for the cylinder, which is eight by three, right? Should be equal to four by three pi into ninety eight. So pi and pi already gone. R square would be equal to so guys three and three gone, four and two gone, two. This would be nine. So R square is forty nine. R is seven. Right. So your answer would be option number D. No. This is the radius that you have found. You have to find the diameter of the cylinder. So two times of it. Your answer would be fourteen. Option number C. Got that. okay a very easy question to chill you guys now <laughs> and this is from ages a very easy question can you guys pause this video and start doing this on your own okay father says my son is 5 times older than my daughter so let us say daughter's age is x my son is 5 times older than my daughter so 5x my wife is 5 times older than my son so 25x very easy question i am twice my wife so let's all f right f for father daughter son wife and father i am twice my wife so 50x all together or the sum of our ages is equal to my mother's age and she is celebrating her 81st birthday so the sum total of all this is 81 so x plus 5x plus 25x plus 50x is 81 Fifty, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-one. Eighty-one x is eighty-one, so that means x is equal to one. There cannot be any simpler question than this. What is my son's age? Five x. X is one. So son's age is five. I think even a class six student should be able to solve this particular problem. But this was an actual question asked in Infosys. Talking about a little interesting question now from Time and Work, which says, ten skilled men can build a room in ten days. Eight semi-skilled men can build a room in twenty-five days. Five unskilled men can build a room in sixty days. If a team has two skilled, six semi-skilled, and five unskilled men, how long it will take to build the room? Can you guys pause this and start doing this on your own? Okay. Guys, 
टेन स्किल्ड मैन कैन बिल्ड अ रूम इन टेन डेज राइट सो दैट मीन्स वन स्किल्ड कैन बिल्ड द रूम इन हाउ मेनी डेज टेन इंटू टेन हंड्रेड डेज राइट एट सेमी स्किल्ड मैन कैन बिल्ड अ रूम इन ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज राइट सो वन सेमी स्किल्ड कैन बिल्ड द रूम इन हाउ मेनी डेज टू हंड्रेड डेज कॉस ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू एट डेज टू हंड्रेड फाइव अनस्किल्ड मैन कैन बिल्ड द रूम इन सिक्सटी डेज what we are doing here is if a team has two skilled six semi skilled and five unskilled men so two skilled right so one skill can build in 200 days so two skilled can build it in what so guys the number of persons have increased the so number of days would reduce right so 100 by 2 so 50 days so guys two skilled men one one days work is what if they if two skilled men can complete the entire work in 50 days two skilled men's one day's work would be 1 by 50 hope you understand that okay one semi skilled man can build a room in 200 days we are given in the steam there would be six semi skilled men so six can build the room in 200 by 6 which is 100 by 3 so what is six semi skilled men's one day's work opposite of it reciprocal of it so 3 by 100 and we have five unskilled men so five unskilled men they can complete the work in 60 days so five unskilled men's one day's work would be 1 by 60 if this three are working together now two skilled six semi skilled and five unskilled so what uh, how much day will they take so 1 by 50 plus 3 by 100 plus 1 by 60 Let's take the LCM. It would be three hundred six plus nine plus six five is a thirty, so five, which is nothing but fifteen plus five twenty by three hundred, which is nothing but one by fifteen. So two semi skilled, uh, sorry, two skilled, six semi skilled, and five unskilled men's one day's work is one by fifteen. So in how many days they'll be able to complete the entire work? Reciprocal of it, fifteen. this is your answer guys okay guys best three commenters on this video to get free access to newly launched prep insta prime so make sure you are commenting on this video could be anything could be a suggestion or feedback for us but make sure you are commenting so that you get a chance to you know win the prep insta prime subscription for free 30 plus companies will start hiring soon guys and we will be posting all such updates on the below handles instagram discord facebook whatsapp and telegram we have a very cool community over discord wherein we keep interacting we have free live sessions we have a lot of contests going on competitions going on challenges going on which you can also be a part of and you know you can win prizes from there and apart from that make sure you are definitely a part of instagram handle cause we we always try to be the first one to post any drive related update and make sure you are a part of instagram so that you never miss out on such important updates that we constantly keep on posting on our instagram handles the link for all the handles can be found in the description of the video i have already told you the entire infosys course is already a part of prep insta prime subscription which includes aptitude reasoning verbal crypto pseudo code puzzles interview preparation all that you need for infosys is already a part of the prep insta prime so if you already have prep insta prime subscription first thing is you get prep insta.com access completely free with your prep insta prime subscription the one having analytics that we saw in the mid of the video apart from that uh, not only infosys guys there are courses like uh, ai cyber security ethical hacking all the skill based courses popular languages like c c++ java python popular coding like basic intermediate competitive coding data structures aptitude crypto essay writing game based aptitude right any service based company product based company interview preparation projects computer science subjects coding brush ups like pseudo code automata fix which is very important or pseudo code is very important for infosys is already there uh, let me show you one unique thing so yeah crypto right for infosys is already there is a separate course for that 
apart from that interview experiences so everything under one single roof guys and along with that what you get is certificates from prep and star plus tcs ion remote internship certificates as well so everything that you need for your placements is there under one single roof right talking about the pricings guys so the prices are very very low as of now cause this is an introductory offer three months two four nine nine six months three four nine nine twelve months four four nine nine 18 months, 24 months, 36 months, 48 months. Based upon your convenience, you can get a subscription with which you get all the courses. You get Prep Insta Prime subscription. You get all the certifications from Prep Insta, from TCS Ion. You get prepinsta.com free access, right? Everything that you need for placements. The link for the same is in the description of the video. My team will now play a quick trailer for you guys wherein you get an idea on to how the courses that I've showed you on Prep Insta Prime looks like and what are the kind of animations and what are the kind of technologies that we have used to create the videos for you. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Hope to see you soon.